Welcome to the vlog and happy vlogmas day four. I have been a busy little bee today. So we're getting a late start to the vlog, but I knew I was gonna get a late start because I wanted to show y'all my winter skincare regimen. So you'll have to stay tuned later on in the video because I will be showing that. I don't have any makeup on today, so I won't be like removing my makeup, but I'll still show you the stuff that I normally would use if I had makeup on. Um, but I'm gonna get started on supper. We're gonna have some chili. I'm so excited. Chili beans, chili, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna get started on that so that can kind of be simmering while I'm getting some other stuff done. I've already edited a video. I did some stuff for our She Just Blooms account over on Instagram. If you don't know what that is, I'll put the name right here. You can go check that out. That is an account that I created more than a year ago. It's been like a year and some odd days. November 1st is the anniversary, and that was our first anniversary. And um, this is an account that I created because I started noticing that people were like clicking and grouping together on social media just like they did in high school, grade school. It kind of got to the point that I felt like I was left out of a lot of stuff and I noticed that other people were as well and I wanted to create a place that all women, no matter what stage of life you're in, no matter what size you are, no matter what color skin you got, no matter if your hair's curly or straight, I wanted a place for all of us. So that's just like a little brief little intro but if you want to know more about it just go over to it on instagram super fun super inspirational and i think y'all really enjoy it set y'all down on a candle so i'm having to crouch down but our christmas cards came so i went with 50 i told y'all on one of my vlogs i was going to do 100 but y'all that's a lot started thinking about it and look really that is a lot imagine two stacks of these there was no way i could have done all of those with everything that i got going on so the first 50 folks that send us christmas cards and i actually have somebody checking my post office today um post office box um and then i'll get all your addresses and last year we went through them real fast so if you want one make sure you send us a card and i'm so sorry if you happen to be like the 51st or the 100th person um and you don't get one of these but hopefully next year we'll be able to take these a lot earlier so that i can do at least 100 of them but i did make my life easier this year my address and stuff's already on here and I went ahead and stamped them but they're just like postcard style so that's that's gonna make my life a lot easier too because I don't have to close an envelope and lick it which I weren't licking it because I just think that's disgusting I normally use like a wet napkin and do that but you know so excited about those also my jammies came in from Disney World I got these sets from pretty little thing during their Black Friday sale I'll probably never order from them again because it was super late didn't know where it was for like the longest time um, I ordered something else that I thought was a set and it ended up being a shirt and now I'm getting the run around trying to return said shirt but I do really like these and I i mean if I do decide to order from them again in the future I'll know what size to get. I was a little scared because it's like coming from like the United Kingdom. So I got extra large in the pajama sets. I could have gotten a large. I normally wear a large but I was scared. And I mean they fit. They're pajamas so it doesn't really matter. But I mean they would have probably been like cuter whatever. Um, so I got an extra large. This is the first set that I got. I mean, they're sh it's really weird how the sizing is. Like, when you go up a size, it gets wider instead of longer. That's so stupid to me. <laughs> but I thought that was really cute. And it has a little matching heart shorts to go with it. And then this set is literally like the same print. It's just a shirt and a pair of shorts. I'm really popular today. That phone is blowing up. And um, it's just the mini faces. Obviously, you can tell someone loves mini and pink. All things. So I'm going to get started on the chili and then I'm going to wrap some gifts because I want to get that done. Mainly just wrapping some of Cody's gifts before he gets home today. 
and because I've kind of been hiding him throughout the house and I feel like it's only a matter of time before he sees them and I know he watches these vlogs so I can't be showing when I got him I can't be you know sneaking and like because he he watches y'all he's nosy and he watches but um yeah let's go ahead and get supper started questions all the time when I cook stuff y'all want to know like what exactly that I use or what recipe but honestly y'all half the time I make this mess up as I go along but I mean it's chili you know it's kind of easy but I like to do like a pound of whatever meat so if that's like ground chicken or ground beef or ground turkey and then I like to do a pound of um like sausage so that's what I did I just whoa let's turn that bin on Hopefully that's not too loud. So then once that is like all brown, then I will go ahead and drain it. I don't like the grease to be in there. I know some people just go ahead and dump everything in or whatever, but I like to get the grease out. And then I put my seasoning. I like to do a pack of chili seasoning and a pack of ranch seasoning. Same ranch packet that you would make like, um, you know, ranch dip with. So I use that. I, I mean, you don't have to put ranch in it. I just am extra. I do it when I make my taco soup, but I use like taco seasoning and the ranch packet. I don't know. I feel like it just gives a little bit extra something. So I just stir that into the meat really well before I start throwing all my canned stuff in there. A lot of times any of the soups that I'm making, I just like go off of what I already have in my cabinet. Um, I wasn't sure what I had, so I did pick up some because it's been a while since I made soup. But I drain um, most of these. So the pinto beans, kidney beans, black beans. I drain most of the liquid out of those. And then obviously I do not drain the chili beans because I mean, it has seasoning. And we don't wanna drain the chili. We want that flavor. So we don't, I don't drain those. And then I also pick up some tomatoes and I might put more tomatoes in here. I kind of, like I said, just wing it. I'll see what it looks like. If it needs more liquid, I'll add some more liquid. You could do like beef broth, chicken stock, beef stock. If you just want to do water, whatever you want to do. So I'll just continue to mix this. And y'all, I always make more than necessary, but this will last us the rest of the week, which is going to be really good because I'm going to be busy and I ain't got time. When I know I got a crazy week like that, I normally try to make a big batch of something. Last week I did a big batch of potato soup and we ate on that forever. And when it's really good, you don't mind eating off of it forever. I want mine a little more soupy, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this bone beef broth. Just shining like no other. Ooh, I don't want what's wrapped in paper. officially reached that point to where I'm forgetting the things that I bought. I have bought so much stuff for people for Christmas. I am now forgetting what I bought. I'm like, oh, I forgot I got that. 
because I'm like pulling everything out of my hiding place to wrap some stuff. Um, mainly for Cody. That's who I mainly forget that I buy stuff for. He's going to want to kill me because he always says that I get him too much stuff. Um, but Rosie, what do you want from me? <laughs> Y'all, she's as big as I am when I sit down. Like, in case y'all didn't know, Rosie loves her mama. Lady loves her mama too, but Lady's a little more independent until I start talking about Lady. Now she's come over here. Where you at, Ladybug? Ladybug! Lady! Oh, yes! Sweet girls! Okay, I know y'all are here. You're not getting your little Christmas stockings. I know, you're not. You're just not getting them right now. Y'all wanna see their Christmas mm -hmm. stockings? All right, watch out. Let's show them your stockings. No, Rosie, you can't, you can't have this. Every year, I always get Lady one of the one of these stockings from Walmart. No! <laughs> They're like under five dollars i think and um so they're they're like signature colors are pink and red um technically it was supposed to be ladies pink and rosie's red obviously rosie red um but when i went to get their collars they didn't have the right sizes and the right colors so technically now the colors have been reversed and most of the time all the pink things go to rosie all the red things go to lady I know, I'm, I'm weird. Not that they're gonna care, they're just gonna grab whichever one and play with it. But Lady loves all these little things in here, so I got one for each of them. Um, so this is like their stocking. Obviously, I'm not gonna hang this up, but I just wanna, I'll just give that to them Christmas morning. No, you're not playing with it, no. So now I'm just gonna wrap some stuff and I will show y'all the chili when I get done with it. Um, I collab with my friend Nitra from the channel Nitra B and she made chili in her video. We did a holiday night routine if y'all missed that and I've been wanting chili ever since. So I went and bought the stuff to make chili and I'm going to do, she put Fritos on top but I've never thought to put Fritos. I'm not doing avocado. I don't eat avocado. Cody does. I don't buy it because it gets wasted um, because he forgets about it. So, um, I'm going to do sour cream cheese and some Fritos on top. I think that's going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wrap these. I can't show them on camera because like I said, Cody is nosy. But I am going to be wrapping my mother-in-law's Christmas stuff too. And we literally got like a whole new bathroom set for her. And um, some bedding and stuff. So, kind of like like a home decor kind of gift, which is like one of my favorite gifts to give. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap all of these. I'm in the den right now, if y'all are wondering where I am and the backdrop, there's normally a couch here, but we have a new couch coming and I'm gonna do a new, um, like, it, this room is gonna be like really, really nice. It's gonna be Cody's place until we get a new house and he actually has like a, a Cody cave is what I keep calling it. Uh, but for now, this will be his little place. And it's going to be awesome. Don't worry. I'm going to make a video about it. But I'm going to stop talking and get into wrapping. I'm almost done wrapping, wrapping stuff. Y'all, I ran out of paper. And I'm going to show you what I done and went and did. Done and went and did. Oh! Be gone. Be gone. Go on over there. Go. So normally what me and Cody do, a lot of times things aren't in like the perfect box or we kind of want to like not let the other one know what's wrapped up. So we will keep boxes of like other things, um, like empty boxes, we keep them and then we'll put like Christmas gifts inside the box and then wrap that box. So we have to like reuse that box right there. Rosie, if you don't stop, I'm going to knock your block off. <laughs> we have reused this boot box forever and you can see the purple. <laughs> that's the gift that i ran out of paper but i was like screw it he ain't gonna do nothing but rip it off so if you're one of those people that wraps like perfectly wrapped beautiful gifts with bows i'm sure you're cringing at that right now but it's fine it'll be okay and you're probably thinking turn it around so that you know you don't see it no it looks like this on both sides <laughs> but I had to get real creative with this thing right here to wrap it because it was an odd shape, but we made it work. And then I got, this was my last like box, so I stuck something in there. 
So what we were gonna do was put all of our family's gifts in here and then put all of like me and Cody's gifts under the tree in the living room. But I kind of, um, why are, why are you turned around? Rosie's probably been in here playing with it. Um, but I kind of did it the opposite way. So all of our gifts are gonna be under this tree and then the family's gifts is under the other tree. So I wrapped mama's gift and I have not, can you please, can you please give mama a break? Just please. Please, Rosie, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> I cannot. You can't be mad at her because she just loves you so much that she can't leave you alone. But y'all, I don't get a break. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> she follows me around everywhere I go. When I sit down, she sits with me. When I get in the tub, she sits right there. If she could, she'd get in the tub with me. Stop. When I cook, she's right there. She's always right there. And, of course, her little sister's nowhere to be found. She's chilling in her bed. But this little heifer. That hurt your feelings. <laughs> All right, let mama talk now, okay? Go away, go on, go lay down. I have one more of Cody's gifts to wrap and then I will be done with these. I do have a uh, Amazon order coming tomorrow and that's it. He told me I better not get nothing else. So after that comes tomorrow, then I won't get nothing else. But he should be here shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and get like our bowls and stuff made and show y'all the chili and I'm gonna be slap this heff in the face if she don't chill out. Why has Mama got to be the one to do it? Would you like that? <laughs> she wants you to put on her some motion lights so she can go outside and play. Rosie. Tell them, lady. <laughs> Tell them. Tell her. She's go telling tell, you. Tell That's what it is. Tell mom. Say, Daddy, you put them lights up. That's right. It's white. Is that my present? Yes, that's your present. Easy. All of these under this tree is your present. All of them under that tree is my present. All of them under that tree. Under that tree. Under, under. Y'all, y'all, y'all. All these presents under this tree. This tree. It's all mine. All mine. Oh my goodness. It's all mine, lady. Yeah. Go find Go tell me what's in there. <laughs> hey, hey. Y'all wanna quit. You wouldn't be itching if you hadn't lost that fifty dollar flea collar. Cause there's so much crap on our dining table. We're gonna eat here. Oh, uh, that's your fault that there's so much crap on our dining table. So nothing over there belongs to you. Not a thing. Nothing. That one coat. <laughs> that one coat out of uh, two of your coats that I see, a whole pile of pajamas, <laughs> and maybe uh, well, that's not on the dining table. Uh huh. My oil, but. You were, oh, okay, so you know, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Uh-huh. So here's, we got our chili. I'm waiting to hear Cody's mouth because he's drinking out of the queen, or eating out of the queen cup. He parted his lips the other day when I gave him something. He was like, really, bud? I don't care. Oh, now you don't? Yeah. I'm getting ready for Disney okay. World, so I'm eating so out of me. So since you're vlogging. All right, vloggers. Vlog 
viewers viewers vlog yeah viewers if any of you just wanted to be so kind as to get me an awesome christmas present just an awesome baby people can't buy you guns why can't they you uh, don't send people guns cody you don't send people guns that is not a gift i can meet them somewhere you're gonna meet somebody to get a gun that you ain't you don't know. You go are you listening to yourself right now? You're okay. gonna meet a stranger. You, you see this brown and X bolt? No, right we don't. Here? We don't. Stainless steel stalker. We don't see it. Stalker. Like that. like That's it. exactly what happened. A stalker. You'll get a stalker. I like that rifle. I also like this Sig pistol, but we'll we'll save that for another. Alright, so I'll be more realistic. Here we go. Vortex Diamondback. Oh, Ten by forty two binoculars. On sale for 200 bucks. They are the O2 Octane camo color. Okay. These. That's enough of that. So, know. we're going to eat now. <laughs> Come on, bud. <laughs> and then I'll show you my skincare routine. Fresh out the shower. Well, I mean, I have dried off and got dressed, but you know what I mean. So, when I wash my hair, I typically always use a t-shirt. Because the t-shirt kind of helps with frizz. Because a towel can, like... If you have naturally curly hair well um i think it makes a difference the lighting is really weird in this bathroom just gonna apologize for that but it's the night time so i gotta have the lights on the number one question i always get is about what i put on my lips and it's just vitamin e oil but the one that i use comes in this like particular thing which makes it easy to apply on your lips Vitamin E oil is good for a lot of things. Anytime like one of my dogs scratches me or something like that, like if I get a scratch or um, like an itchy area or something, um, it depends where it is. But for the most time, if I get like a scratch, like if Rosie jumps on me and she like leaves a little wilt or something, I'll put some vitamin E oil on it. Super nourishing. You can easily Google like vitamin E benefits, but I love putting this on my lips. And if my face really, really, really needs something, I'll mix this in with my moisturizer and apply that. But I only do that every once in a blue moon. First off, pre-cleansing. First step is always pre-cleansing. I normally do all of the washing in the shower, so I'm not going to show you any of that, but my new favorite has been this hydrating cleansing oil right here, and I will have all this stuff linked down below, but I will use this, and I just put it onto a dry face. Just rub that in, and I'll use like a baby wipe or something to get it off. I have not got to try this yet, but I've heard wonderful things. It's the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, pretty much the same concept. So I'll be trying that a little bit later. Next step is actually the cleansing step. So that's just pre-cleansing. Now we're going to cleanse. And I've been going back and forth in between these. Love them both. Um, I do like the idea that this is like a stick and it makes it easy for travel. And it's just easy to rub all over your face. And you just, you know, massage it in and rinse it off. Whereas this is just like a normal cleansing gel. It does an amazing job. My face feels clean. But it doesn't feel like all the oils and stuff are like sucked out of it. That is not what you want. I hate when my face feels like like this when I get out of the shower. This does not do that, but I feel clean and I just don't feel like it takes like all of my, you know, natural oils out. Exfoliating. This time of year, it's super important. I feel like my face gets just so dry and flaky, especially like around here, around my nose, around my mouth. This is my favorite exfoliator ever. I've talked about it numerous times. It is amazing. It's not like so abrasive to the point that it's going to mess with your skin. I don't use it all year round, but um, when I feel like my face is like really getting congested um, or in the winter time, like just when my skin's being a little bit more difficult, I like to use this at least twice that week. It's amazing. You can definitely use it every other night. It does say daily. I wouldn't recommend using it daily. Maybe if you got like, if you know your skin and it can take a lot, maybe, maybe. Oils, now it's time for the oils. I have been loving rosehip oil. It's been at the top of my list and this new oil from Dermalogica is everything. So I like to go in with this oil first, you could definitely just mix it all up into like a little cocktail in your hand and just, you know, rub it all on at the same time. But I feel like this is just like my time to give back to myself. So I like to do this step by step. But if I am in a hurry, <laughs> then I'll just go ahead and put it all together in my hand and just put it on. But I like to push this into my skin. 
and my face feels so good. I did exfoliate tonight because it's been a while and I felt like my face needed it. And that exfoliant in combination with that oil, amazing. Now, just gonna do two drops of my rosehip oil. And then second to last is moisturizer. So this facial milk has been like really, really good. It comes with like a little dropper and I only use four tiny little drops of this. It's like it gives exactly what your skin needs. It's not too heavy, but it's also not, you know, like too light where it doesn't feel like you have anything on. I think this is fantastic. I personally do not use an eye cream. Um, I will typically just, whatever is left on my finger from all those oils, I'll just gently go under my eyes. And that is it for that. And the very last thing that I do, if I don't already have on some kind of lip, normally that's like the last thing. Um, but I will go in with my drying lotion if I have any breakouts or possible breakouts. So I have this little thing over here on the side of my head. And I'm just going to pop some of this drying lotion onto it. And if I see anywhere else that has a spot or it looks like it might be a spot, I'll just dab this on it. And that's it for my skincare. If you want to shop for any of this stuff, like I said, I'll have it all linked down below. I absolutely love it. I have like combination normal skin, sometimes dry, sometimes it's oily. It just all depends. I feel like I just have a, a nice combination of the two. But I hope that was helpful. So I have made it back into my office. It is 11 17. This is what Vlogmas looks like behind the scenes <laughs> is editing at night, trying to make sure that the video is ready. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of work. Some of mine are done a little ahead of time. I have to do it that way because if y'all aren't new, you know how bad my internet sucks. Like, sucks. Anything over like a 10 minute video can take five to six hours to upload at my house so imagine what a 20 minute vlog takes it normally takes all night long and the other thing about our internet is if you're using it to upload a video to youtube that's all you're going to be able to use it for like you're not going to be able to stream netflix get on instagram shop on amazon look at pinterest like you can't do none of that you have to use your cellular data for that so normally, um, so that we're not using all of our cellular data, um, I typically upload at night. So as soon as um, like I'm going to bed, I'll come in here and upload a video and I'll go to bed. <laughs> it's a lot of work and I've been doing that for the past like three years. This is my third year doing Vlogmas and um, my internet has sucked the entire time. I am hoping and praying that maybe with the new year we'll get better internet through here. That would be fantastic. Um, but until then, I will just keep working extra hard, extra early, <laughs> late into the night. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tomorrow I will be having a special little something something for somebody. So make sure you come back tomorrow to see the vlog. And we'll have some really festive things going on tomorrow too. And I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your night. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Good night guys. Yeah.